This video is being recorded. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the fifth video of SSRP protocol. And uh, in this video, I will talk about for load sharing, or you can say that if we have two ISP in my organization, and uh, I want to utilize both of the link, then how to, I mean, how we can do that? So we can do it with using SSRP group number, right? So in order to utilize both ISP link, we will have to create two or more groups to and a two virtual gateway. So if you want to utilize both of the link, so you have to create two groups and a two virtual gateway. In my case, there are two ISP. So we will have to create two virtual gateway and two groups. So let me describe the configuration in this lab, what I'm going to do. So one more thing I would like to share with you. I am making this video, those who are fresher and wants to understand how to configure HSRP, right? SRP group number. So this video will be helpful for them, right? So as you can see that here I have designed a topology right for this lab. So let's suppose in my organization, right? There are two ISP, right? and there are two customer as well. So this customer is connected to the different ISP, but in my scenario, there is a single ISP, right? Uh, I'm demonstrating you for just for lab, right? So in real scenario, there might be two ISP, right? This ISP, I mean, this customer router, primary router will, will be connected from the different ISP. You can say that ISP one, right? And this router will be connected to different ISP. Let's suppose ISP2, right? So this customer, behind this customer routers, there are two users, right? I mean, different, different user is connected to the, the customer routers. Let's suppose behind the customer router, this group will be assigned the group number one and this, this user will be in group number two. As you can see that I have created two virtual, uh, virtual gateway, right? For group one, virtual gateway will be 192.168.1.1.100. And uh, for group two, virtual gateway will be 192.168.1.10.1, right? So I will assign group two for this group, right? Let's suppose this is the, these are the users which belongs to the production department, right? And these are the user who is sitting inside the LAN in the admin department, right? So in order to utilize both links, I will keep, I mean, admin department in group one, right? And this primary router will be active for this group. I mean, admin department and this secondary router will be active for this production department, right? So with the help of group number and virtual gateway, we can utilize uh, the both links because this primary ISP has taken 50 Mbps link from the ISP and uh, customer has also taken 20 Mbps links from the different ISP, right? ISP1 and ISP2, you can assume that. So let's configure, right? So let me show you the configuration, what I have, con uh, what I have configured. So as you can see that this configuration, I will apply on the primary router, right? I mean, customer primary customer's router, SSRP configuration, and this configuration will be applying on the secondary router, right? As you can see that I have created two groups, right? Group number one, right? And there are group number two. And uh, for group one, 
फॉर ग्रुप वन विल बी द प्राइमरी राउटर एक्टिव एंड फॉर ग्रुप टू सेकेंडरी राउटर विल बी द एक्टिव फॉर ग्रुप टू राइट तो फॉर वन फॉर ग्रुप वन दिस राउटर विल बी एक्टिव आई मीन फॉर एडमिन डिपार्टमेंट दिस राउटर विल बी एक्टिव एंड दिस फॉर प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट सेकेंडरी राउटर विल बी एक्टिव राइट सो इन द सेम टाइम वी कैन यूटिलाइज बोथ ऑफ द लिंक्स राइट so let's suppose if this router will go down i mean primary router then secondary send traffic will move through the secondary router right so similarly we can utilize the secondary uh, link as well as right so let me configure this configuration on the primary router right so in the previous video as we have seen that uh, if you want to track any of the wan ip right wan ip or link protocol if goes down then how we can track that so let me show you in section stand by right so as you can see that there is so section stand by right so this configuration have earlier in configured in the part 4 video right of hsrp configuration so as you can see that uh, group group one is already created so now i have to create only the group two right let me show you the secondary router as well as So run section stand by right. So as you can see that I have configured right. So if you want to track any of the interface or when I see, so you can configure this one. So you can watch the previous video. I mean uh, HSRP part four videos, right? So, in part 4 i have already described these things so now i am going to configure only the group 2 right so let me show you the configuration so now i am going to configure group 2 right so interface gig ethernet 1 by 0 this is the lan interface stand by then group number you can assign any of the number right so i am putting the group number 2 then ip virtual ip right and make sure virtual ip will be the same subnet right stand by to priority i am going to assign 180 right stand by to print right you can configure a timer also let me configure the timer Stand by one timer one and three second. One is the hold down uh, hello timer and three is the hold down timer. Two so stand by three. So as you can see that right now, go uh, this router is active for group one. It is also active for group two. It is also active, right? So let me configure the this one on the secondary router. Please give it a name. Two by zero, stand by two IP one ninety two dot one sixty eight one dot one zero one. Right, stand by two IP. I am going to assign two hundred for group two. Right, stand by two. Empty. Right, so this router will be active for the group two. So stand by brief. So as you can see that for group two. This router is active, right? So stand by brief. As you can see that for group two, primary router is the standby. For group one, primary router is the active router. Let me show you the secondary router. So as you can see that 
for group 1 secondary router is the standby router for group 2 this is uh, it is the active router right so standby brief so standby all right so as you can see that there are two groups are configured right group 1 and group 2 right you can check it, it on secondary router as well. Right. So let me show you the configuration. So run section is and Y, right? So as you can see that these are the configuration are configured on secondary router. Let me show you the primary router as well. So run section is and Y, right? See, so now let me show you what will happen, right? So for group one, right? I mean, this these are this is the admin department. So so this for group one, all the traffic will move through the primary router, right? For group two. Right for production department, all the traffic will move through the secondary router. So as you can see that we we have achieved that the load sharing or you can see that load balancing. Right. So we can utilize both of the links. Right. So let me check. So now let me take the console of group one. Right, which is the admin department. Let me show you the for group two, which belongs to the production department, right? So let me ping 8.8.8.8. Right. Yes, I am able to reach the Google DNS. Let me ping from the group two. Yes, I am able to reach the Google DNS. So let me trace this configuration from where traffic is moving. I mean from the primary ISP or the secondary ISP. So let me trace this one. Trace a dot a dot a dot h right. Let me copy it. So as you can see that currently it is going to the primary router, right? So let me is from the secondary router secondary i mean secondary group right this user is sitting on inside the lan right so as you can see that currently it is going through the secondary router from the production department right so we have seen we can achieve that load balancing or load sharing in hsrp right so with the help of HSRP group number, we can utilize both of the link. So this is the configuration what I have configured here, right, in HSRP, right? So make sure this virtual gateway will be the same subnet, right? So as you can see that for group one, I have to assign different virtual IP which belongs to the same subnet. For group one, I have assigned the same, uh, I, I, I have assigned the different virtual gateway, right? So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, I mean, if you have understood anything from this video, so it's your responsibility to like, share and subscribe my channel. So thank you for watching this video till the end.